Are go-tos dead? That is my question for today. So today I want to talk about go-to. The keyword in C that is probably the most hated thing about the C standard. I remember when I was just learning to program when I was a teenager and I was talking to a more seasoned programmer and I'll never forget the advice he gave me. He said, never trust a programmer that uses go-tos. And that kind of stuck with me until later on in my career, I took some time to think about it and I thought, you know, is there a good reason to use go-tos? What is the problem? And so I, I spent some time looking into it. And you all know that I prefer to dig into something and try to understand why rather than just take something at face value. So today I wanted to look at go-tos and see if we can find a legitimate use for them. If you haven't seen GoTo before, GoTo is simply an unconditional jump. It takes you from one part in your code to another. And so that allows you to jump from one spot in one function to another without any if statements, without a return, without a function call, just basically says, here's where I'm running and I wanna be somewhere else. And the reason why GoTo's have such a bad rap is that you can end up with code that looks like this. Now this is a total disaster. It's a total disaster, not because it doesn't work. I mean, you can compile it and actually does something, the person who has to take this code, look at it, and figure out what it does has a lot of work ahead of them. And it's just not very nice. It's not, it's not a nice thing to do to somebody to give them code that looks like this. If you write code like this, don't expect to be very popular among your coworkers. But is there a good use for go-tos? And I think there's really one. Most of the time, you can do things in a better way than to use a go-to. The only case where I've seen is when you are inside a nested loop and you actually want to break out of all levels of that loop and, and basically be done. Now, why a nested loop? If it was a single loop, you could just use break, but if it's a for loop within a for loop, you're not gonna be able with one break to break out of both. You'd have to break out and then have, a, have more logic that tells you, hey, I wanna break out of the outer loop as well. And so in this case, I do think it's cleaner. It's easier to read if I just have a go-to that jumps me to the bottom here. Now, the only time when this really makes sense is when after you jump out of the loops, you actually have some kind of cleanup, you have some code you wanna run. Because otherwise you just use a return and that would jump you out of the whole function. And I think this is a legitimate, reasonable use for a go-to. See, for me, in my opinion, the overriding principle here is clarity. The whole reason why go-tos are so hated is because they make code hard to read. They produce spaghetti code. But if the way you're using go-tos is easy to understand, easy to follow, then by all means. Don't hate on go-to just because everybody says you should hate on go-to. Hate on go-to for its weaknesses. Use it for its strengths. So friends, I hope this provides an explanation for some of the prejudice against GoTo out there. Most of it's actually completely well-founded. As a general rule, you probably don't wanna see a lot of GoTo's in your code, but I just wanted to go through it today, help you see the reasons why it's so hated, and maybe the, well, the one case that I've ever found where it makes sense to use. I hope this is helpful. If nothing else, it gives you some ammo next time you wanna be a well-informed contrarian when having a code debate with your friends and you want to take the pro go-to position. And with that said, I will see you next time.